What's going on everyone? Alright, so Arc 2's trailer just got released last night, and I'm pretty much going to break down my thoughts, what could be happening, and uh, certain things like that. So I'm going to play bits of it, and then stop it whenever I want to tell you something. It's time to go. So obviously the first thing we see here is a family, a mother, a father, and the child, which means possibly a bit like Atlas, it could have an aging system. Of course, Atlas doesn't have the, the entire age where you go from a baby and stuff like that, but this game could have a human breeding mechanic, or it could have just uh, maybe you can have a child or something and they can help you, maybe even collect resources for you or something like that. Like the lim it's, the possibilities are limitless really but I think that would be a really cool feature and uh, yeah let's keep watching Here we have the introduction to the new sort of enemy I guess we have. Possibly the, like they could be building bases in the world, they could, uh, you could be able to get them on your team, you know, there could be anything like that. Or another cool feature would be where you just can't tame them and they're, they can kill your teams. If you're trying to tame something, they come over and maybe try to steal it or something like that, like uh, something along those lines. Or if you could get them on your team. You could use them to get resources, as I said, with the, the whole child system and the family system, if, if that's implemented. But yeah, all right, let's keep watching. Here we have my personal favourite bit, if this, get, this gets added. If anyone's ever heard of the game For Honor, I hope they add a fighting style into the game a bit like this. A bit like the For Honor fighting style, if they add it in, like, the way the trailer, you know, they're actually doing a proper fight, they're not just, like, randomly stabbing the air, like, normal arc fights. But if they add an actual combat system, I think that would just make the game, like, it would be, it would be the best game in the world by, by far. But, uh... Yeah, I, I really hope they add a combat system. You know, fingers crossed. It's probably not going to happen, but... Yeah, For Honor combat system, or, you know, just one of their own. Where you can dodge hits, and you, like, lock into a fight with them, instead of, like, just randomly hitting the air, as I said. Like, you lock into a fight, dodge their hits, things like that. Alright, let's keep watching. <laughs> Here we have the first dinosaur we see in the in the trailer, and I know a lot of people think this is a T Rex. Like it, it could be a T Rex, but it kind of looks like a Tyranno Titan. It does look like a T Rex as well. It could be it could be either, but uh, I think it would be nice if it was a Tyranno Titan. Maybe take the T Rex out or something like that and have like a completely different dino set. But yeah, this is this is a bit of a quick one. If if you are getting a bit annoyed at me stopping the video. Just watch the normal trailer. This is me breaking down the trailer and talking about it. This isn't uh, more of a showcase of the trailer. All right, let's keep watching.
we see here, the dinosaurs actually do kill the tribesmen, which is uh, very good as well, because you don't really want to be ganged up on by a bunch of these like tribes people, along with dinosaurs, a bit like raptor packs are. Raptor packs are just the most annoying thing. If you're trying to see a T-Rex and there's just a raptor pack running up and pouncing you and stopping you from doing it, it's one of the one of the bad things. So I'm glad that they can't do that. I think uh, the whole bola system, if they give bolas to them, I think that would be a good addition. I, I mean, some players would get annoyed with it. I know that if you're getting bullet every time you're uh, going out in the wild. But maybe make the, the bola counter a lot less or something. <laughs> possible thing that could have happened here is it could be like the way Genesis is where you can teleport across map like all across the map different biomes but it could be where you can transfer your dinos to a completely different map like we have right there like them walking through into that room and then walking out another door but I think if they were implementing that feature it'd be nice if it was like the giant tech door for the Genesis not the Genesis the island boss fight the ascension battle if they had the big archway and then you walked through it and then it closed behind you or something and it brought those dinos into the next map, like all the maps were tied into one game instead of leaving, exit the main menu, you know, and doing all that, transferring survivors, obelisks, things like that. Uh, skip all that stuff and just walk through a door. I think, I think that would be a really good uh, implication if, you know, it was going to be a thing. And uh, if you... You know, like any of the things I said, make sure to share this video so Ark can see it in case uh, they aren't aren't doing these things. Maybe maybe they can see this and they'll start doing some of the stuff like the combat thing is the one that I want mostly. All right. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll let you watch the rest of the trailer. <laughs> 